What's going on guys, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts here, and I am back with another Walking Dead reaction. Um, last week was a bit sporadic for me, it was a tough week for me um, last week. I tried to get out as much um, stuff that I could. Um, unfortunately, on the days that I was supposed to do this last um, last week, I think I did put out a cut. I think I did put out, I don't remember if I did the Walking Dead last week, but... Um, but I did do as much as I could last week, man. Last week was a tough week for me. But this week, we are back on schedule. Make sure that this video is up on the day that it's supposed to be up, which is Wednesday. So, um, <clears throat> in the last episode, last episode wasn't so entertaining as in, it was great. It was great character development for Daryl. Um, Andrea shot him. When he was coming back because she just won't put the gun down. She's so trigger happy. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I don't know why she feels like she needs to prove herself all the damn time. But here we are, man. Back at it again. Um, Rick is not happy with Shane right now. Um, you know, it's because Shane, he wants to give up. He wants to give up on looking for Sophia, I, I, and Rick is not having it, you know? Rick is not having it. So, I don't know where we go from here. Um, the In the last episode, we saw um, Glenn finding the walkers in, in, in the, um, in the um, what do you call that thing outside <laughs> The cabin. It's not a cabin. It's like um I can't remember the name, man. Like where they keep all those hay and stuff. Uh is it a cabin? No, it's not a cabin, man. I, I can't remember the name of that that stuff right now. Anyways, but that's where the episode ended, so I'm excited to see what's going to happen next. Um for this um for this episode I'm gonna try to get a highlighted version out to you guys hope you guys enjoy the highlights just as much as whoever is watching the full reactions they can enjoy it too um so you all I already know the highlights would be on bitshoot full reaction will be on the google drive all right so thank you guys for watching as always i will see you guys back for the review thank you guys for watching man i'll see you guys see you next time All right, so I just finished watching The Walking Dead, season what season two, episode six. Okay, that was something. Um, so we found out what's going on with the barn, as I remember what the hell that thing is. Um. The walkers in the barn are actually their family, as I suspected from what I talked about in in the last episode um, review that I did. And I was saying this has it has to be family, but there's no other explanation. You're not gonna pack up a bunch of strangers into the barn for no reason. There's got to be some emotional response to doing something like that, because unless they're keeping them as pets, which is ri ridiculous. So my first instinct was family. It turns out that it is family. That you're keeping in the barn because he thinks they're still people. He thinks that you're just sick. No. They're dead people, sir. You need to kill them. Because if they get the chance to eat your ass, they will eat you. So, that's a bit of, I understand the emotional response. Why they're doing what they're doing. But at the same time, it's a bit naive and stupid. Um, but, it is what it is on those, on those terms. Now, hmm, Glenn, Glenn, Glenn. Glenn, the keeper of secrets, the teller of secrets, um, they confide in him for a lot of things. And, and, and as I was saying, like him going into town for Lori, um, him telling Dale um, Lori's secret and also the circuit of the barn, you know, just goes that he knows he can't keep a secret. He can't really lie. He's a terrible liar. So 
Dale didn't even have to prod him that much to get the truth out of him of why he was acting so weird. It's like people know something or they know a secret. And it kind of is, is in his situation, it's not that he's itching to tell it. It's just that he just can't be normal because he knows this affects so many people. It affects people that he cares about. And that's, that's the thing. Like people that are really good liars, they don't show those kind of signs. So they really just don't give a shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So when you know information that could affect a lot of people, it's very hard to, to keep that a secret. You want to tell someone because you don't want them to get hurt if it comes to that point, right? Cause then it's going to, then it's, you're going to feel like it's your fault if the person get hurt as a result of keeping the secret. So we have that going on with Glenn, right? Um, got a lot of story development with Shane and Andrea. She is a problem. She is too trigger happy. And still, even after shooting Daryl, she is still trigger happy. And I'm glad that she's learning how to use the gun, learning how to focus in and stuff like that. I don't know. It, I think she gets an adrenaline rush out of it, killing stuff. So I don't know what's going to happen in the future. She and Shane had a bump and grind session. So I don't know. So that's another thing too. Dale wanted Shane to leave because he figured it out. Like it's not that hard to, to tell what really happened between them. The way how they were smirking at each other. Like, you know what I mean? So Dale picked up on it, was kind of confronted Shane about it, which is kind of dumb because, because in a certain way, like, you know, he's sleeping with all the women in the camp. What, Sophia's mom's next? I, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Um, so, I was kind of bummed out by, I understand, I was kind of expecting a different kind of reaction from Rick. But, hey, good for him. He understood, the, um, he understood why she did it. You know, oh, you thought I was dead. You know, um, for me, it's, for me, it's just, it's a little bit different as I've been saying, since I found out about their relationship and we knew that Rick was, was still alive. My thing with that whole thing is why my best friend, why my best friend that that's, that's the question I would be asking. Why my best friend out of everybody, my best friend. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people is like, oh, he was there for her and blah, 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 blah. And I get it, man. But for me, it's just a little bit different. Like, it's a bit too close to home. Like, anybody else, I probably would have been fine with. But the best friend, no. My best friend shouldn't be with my wife if she becomes a widow if I die. I just don't. I, I, it's just guy code, man. It's just guy code. You just don't do that. It's just weird. You know what I'm saying? That simply means that you've wanted my wife all along. It kind of seems that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just kind of seems like you've always been lusting after my wife this whole damn time. You've been checking out my wife. And as soon as I'm gone, you you on the horse? Like, it just seems kind of weird. So, it's just me. But props up to him. He just flicked it off like a booger. It's okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I just couldn't let that go so easily. But that's how they chose to write the show. So, hey. Um, the confrontation about the pregnancy um, went down pretty pretty well. I think that that scene was very well acted out. Because um, as I was saying earlier in the episode, you were, you were chastising him about, about, um, about keeping secrets. And you're doing the very same thing. And that's so typical. So typical of women, man. Women do this. They do that all the time. I'm not. You know what? It's not all women do this. But most women that I've come across, they do this. And then when you catch them in their secret, they always trying to put that shit on you. And that's their gimmick, man. They just can't give you a win. <laughs> when in some of the times they will confuse you with with the with certain things sometimes and you're like what how how did i become the 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 blame the blamed how did i become the blamed in this situation you're the one that did it 
you're the one that did did the deed how does this end up being my fault <laughs> you know what i mean so yes man i've had those situations over the years they don't happen that much anymore because i shut that shit down real quick but it's all about it comes with experience to know those kind of things as a man if you're interested in women and stuff like that experience with different women and stuff like that you re do realize that this the same tactics that they come with over and over again eventually you you figure out how to deal with it this is just some advice for my for my um male watchers out there um just in case you want you want to know how it, it comes with experience you're not gonna figure it out by me just talking to you right now it's just you see it you know it you shut it down so it's just that this this episode was was really nice um i don't know what they're planning to do it looks like they want to stick around because they're settled and whatever but in my opinion i don't think they should that's just my opinion i don't think they should stick around for a lot of reasons um resources is a very big issue here somebody's trying to preserve their family they're kind of off the grid you know what i'm saying they're kind of off the grid and i understand you know they're settling in they're getting comfortable and all of this other stuff and to root themselves up again to go somewhere like what are y'all gonna do chill at this dude's house the guy don't want you there you understand they don't want they don't want you there because eventually all these resources are going to be out you get what I'm saying? And all you extra people are here thinning out the resources. And you know what I'm saying? So I can understand from Herschel's perspective why you don't want them to stay. And I can understand why the camp, the rest of them, why they want to stay. I get it. So I do understand from both perspectives in this situation right now. Um, what? Are, how are we going to move forward from here? They're, they're still looking for Sophia um that's what shane and andrea went out to do no dice so they're back at camp so as i said they're the the season is moving kind of slow right now which is like i've been saying this from like way back from sophia got lost i've been saying this storyline is going on way too long i'm enjoying don't get me wrong i'm enjoying the show but I'm saying, as from, from a writing perspective and how they're writing this season, this is being stretched out too long. If Sophia is still alive, they need to get get to it. You get what I'm saying? Let's get to it. Let's get to her. It's been like three episodes now or four episodes since she's been missing and they're still looking for her. All the other developing storylines and plot lines that is going on, I'm enjoying it. But this particular Sophia thing is being going on for too long now um and if they're going to be staying in this one spot for the entire season it's a bit too much in my opinion so you guys can let me know what you think I think I think the season is moving a bit slow the pacing is not great right now because it just kind of seems like I'm watching watching a a um <laughs> kind of seems like I'm uh I'm watching like some 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 um what do you call it um what do you call it again some some um <laughs> there's a term that i can't remember right now there's a term that we call this stuff is like um slice of life episodes that's that's what i'm thinking of slice of life it's like slice of life episodes right now it's like you know what i'm saying there's no imminent danger we got that one walker that attacked the girl in the store that's it that's all we got. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like slice of life episodes. It's just like we're trying to catch up on these people's lives and what they do. You know what I'm saying? Like they're so settled that we're trying to get involved with their soap opera lives or some shit like that. So I'm not particularly enjoying that aspect. As I said, it's a bit slow, but still the plot lines are very enjoyable. No doubt about it. So that's just my little nitpick with it. They need to wrap up this Sophia storyline. I've been saying this for like the past four episodes, I think. So thank you guys for watching as always, man. Always appreciated. You guys come back, watch the review. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comment section. Of course, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Please. 
my walking dead videos are not doing so well <laughs> and, uh, and, but in any case as i said it's not about that stuff it's just so that more people can watch enjoy it with y'all have more interaction on the videos that would be great thank you guys for watching as always it's your boy terabyte reacts i will see you guys for the next episode peace